Mecklenburg County Sheriff's Office is rolling out new gear aimed at uh, called outer carrier vest for patrol deputies aimed to enhance physical sa uh, safety. And this is a switch that will redistribute the weight of their 20 pounds of gear from their waist to their torso. Queen City News reporter Shakira Speaks explains why deputies are excited about the switch. The fact that you're just able to access any of your equipment here makes you feel more comfortable and being able to do what you're supposed to do when anything happens in front of you. Mecklenburg County Sheriff's Deputy Martinez is wearing a new outer carrier vest, fully equipped with everything she needs to patrol the county. Field deputies will transition from these belts with their equipment. About 20 pounds worth of weight worn about my waist for anywhere from 8 to 16 hours a day. To vests worn outside of their shirts, with their equipment evenly distributed across their torso. Deputies Martinez and Williams have served the county for at least 14 years. In that time, they've both suffered from chronic back pain that evolved into injuries to their lower bodies, those injuries forcing them to have surgeries to correct the problems. Running, fighting when necessary, all of that, everything's on there. The belt is about two, three inches wide, two layers worth of belt deep is another inch or so. If you have to go to the ground with somebody, that is that much going into your spine. Uh, if you have to run, that is the weight bouncing on your waist area, further injuring the muscles and the bones in that area. Each vest is $458. That'll be paid out the department's uniform budget. Sheriff McFadden says the initiative stems from the concerns of officers' working conditions. He says feedback from deputies expressed the vests provide crucial peace of mind and increased security in the field. Their concerns increased after the deadly Shannon Park officer shooting in April. The vests are all, all going to be for my officers, deputies who are on the streets or on the road, as they said. So my field deputies who do evictions every day, go to homes every day, serving domestic violent papers. So we're going to start them um, on the streets before we go inside to what we call arrest processing. It will benefit all the officers across the nation if they go to something like this because there is no medical after retirement these days for law enforcement. So you're investing in us to continue to do what we are trained to do.